Hey guys! Do you need some quick tips on how to improve your art? Because in this video, I will show you 5 super simple drawing hacks that will not only improve your art, but also make your life a lot easier. By the way, make sure to click on the bell to turn notifications on and to comment below hashtag Mugification Squad in the first 24 hours when I upload a new video for a chance to get a shout out and to win lots of cool arts and craft supplies in my ongoing giveaway. And now let's jump right into the video. The first tip is to focus on the basic shapes. Usually when we start drawing, we tend to focus on the outlines and the details rather than on the general shapes. What happens is that we get lost in drawing the perfect outlines and details of an object while still struggling to capture the subject in an accurate way. So instead, focus on the general shapes first that actually make up the overall object you want to draw. Simply break it into shapes that are easy to draw and sketch them out loosely. Instead of just drawing the object, build the object. Having those shapes in place will now help us to not only draw the proper lines more easily and more accurately, but they will also help us to loosen up and to get faster with sketching in general. From here you can add shadows and other details. And if you're still stuck in the mindset of drawing everything super slowly and carefully, set yourself a timer for 10, 5 and 2 minutes so you can learn to see the basic shapes without getting lost in the details. Another simple way how you can improve your art is by creating a composition that helps to tell a story through your art. If you place objects randomly onto your paper, you can really tell what is important or not and where you need to look at first. But if that's what you are going for, you can totally do that, of course. But if you want to try out something new and create an interesting composition, try to incorporate the rules of thirds into your concept from time to time instead. To create the grid, start by drawing two equally spaced out lines horizontally and vertically. This way you split the drawing into thirds. And all the points that cross each other are the sweet spots where you can place the points of interest of your composition. You can see that as a guideline rather than a rule though. The rule of thirds will help you to compose your artwork to look balanced and interesting. If you watched my video about the great wave, you can clearly see how the guidelines help to compose this painting. On the upper left side, we have the huge wave and on the other side, in the lower corner, we have the people in the ship that are in trouble. This really conveys the danger and the power of the wave. The third tip is to prepare and plan out your drawing. So to help you decide what might look best as a big painting or drawing, you can start by sketching out small thumbnails. This way you can loosely sketch out small versions of your final piece and decide on what composition you like the best. This will not only help you to avoid the feeling of being overwhelmed and the fear of a blank page, but it will also help you to create an amazing concept for your drawing that you're happy with at the end. And at the same time you can test out the different compositions using the rule of thirds that I mentioned in the beginning to really figure out the best way how you can convey your message in your painting. Now, if you have a great concept and composition for your next artwork, but you're not quite sure how certain things really look like to get the proportions right, the fourth tip will help you, and that's using reference pictures. And yes, you can totally do that, don't worry. Even the most professional artists do that. You can use either Google or DeviantArt to find reference pictures. DeviantArt, for example, has lots of stock images that are made especially to be used as a reference. A reference picture is only there to give you some guidelines how certain objects look like, such as different parts of the body, expressions, different animals and other things that you don't look at and draw multiple times a day. And it's a great way to develop your own personal style once you get the hang of it. If you want to draw something in black and white but feel too overwhelmed with the colors, you can simply change the settings to black and white on your phone or your computer or simply print it out as a black and white version. And if you have troubles getting the proportions right, what you could do is you can create an identical grid on your paper and on your reference picture. You don't have to make the square super small, it really depends on how detailed your reference picture is and how big it is. Now you can focus on one square at a time without feeling lost in the sea of the white paper. The final tip is using tracing paper. You can use it for either the grid technique that I talked about earlier for studying the shapes of subjects or for developing your own personal style. 
For example, if you want to draw something but you don't always want to draw the grid all the time, you can draw one grid onto the tracing paper and place it above your reference picture. But you can also use the tracing paper to study different shapes by tracing them. This will not only help you learn about the shapes and how particular objects are shaped, but it will also help you to get your hand familiar with the specific movements that you need to draw a specific object. But the bonus of the transparent paper is that you can actually use it to develop your own personal style. This way you're not focusing on what you're drawing, but on how you are drawing it. You can go ahead and draw it using different types of lines, you can change the shapes a little bit, or even proportions. You can basically try out different ways how you can draw something. And if you have a general idea afterwards, you can just use a normal piece of paper and practice there. A huge shout out to Ishu. Thank you so much for watching my videos and being part of the Macification Squad. And if you need more tips and tricks on how to level up your art game, you can check out my playlist right here. Make sure you have your notifications on by clicking on the bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!